All right. Hey, everyone. All right, guys. Six of the games we're playing. We're playing every single game on here. Now, we're playing two games on 2.8, and then we're playing Cage Tree. We're just doing the cutscenes for days in Coded. Now, we're doing them in the order that they're on the screen. Okay, so we're starting with Cage 1, the classic speedrun right here. Let's begin. So, for Cage 1, my D rust was a 220 something. I died during a gummy mission in that run. It was really dumb. But I, I feel pretty confident that I'll get a much better time. We'll see. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm playing on English by accident. That's okay, actually. I went to play JP. English is fine. Yeah, it's fine. As you'll see for the rest of the run, magic is 100% OP in like every cage game. The only thing is that I have to remember how to do everything in, in uh, Travis Town, but I don't think it's too complicated. God, that was horrible luck. Jesus. <laughs> That's really gonna pave the way for the rest of the series, huh? If we get bad luck in Cage 1 and then we get good Joker luck in Recon. I recommend Cage 1 as a first speedrun for Kingdom Hearts if you want to get into speedrunning. Kingdom Hearts, because it's a really fun run. It's really easy to pick up. You can kind of just like, you can do like a blind run of it and it won't be too bad. Maybe like get some notes first, but it's a really fun speedrun I'd recommend. So if anyone has been watching a JP version of this game, you're going to see something that you're not quite used to seeing. It's pretty neat. You can only do it on the English version. I don't know why. For some reason on JP, it just doesn't work. Like there's no real explanation for it. So we're going to go over here. Yeah, so we're going to enter this. And now look at what happens. See how Sora is like in the pole right now? Hold down up and we enter the gate. And now we're not supposed to be here yet. Leon's here, by the way. We're going to get Earthshine. Speedrun strats. Again, you can only do it in English, but it saves a lot of time in English. A lot of the time JP saves on English is made up right there. Now what we're gonna do is just go to Merlin's and then we're gonna leave from there. We want the one that drops the fa the fastest. I think it's this one. Okay, I got the wrong one. It's okay. Um, you want the one that has a soldier because it's a faster cutscene because you don't see Donald and Goofy get trapped on the things. So right there we had the match triangle and do the RC before the enemy spawn because in this game whenever enemies spawn you can't do the reaction command anymore. So you have to mash it out. There's a lot of points in the game where we have to do that. Where just enemies are supposed to kill before you do it but if you mash out the RC you can do it before they spawn. <laughs> it's not a split dude. That was a good fight. That was a really good fight. I have no gun by the way. If you couldn't tell. <laughs> you can choose to put a gun on but I never put a gun on because I'm not scared of the darkness. Gorge. Gotta get all the slides. This part's really fun, movement-wise. Just getting all the slides. You want to mash through the text while you're in a dodge roll, so that Sora is moving during like the 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 text. It's really cool the way you do it. There's some tech right here. Bounce off with the Keyblade swing. Oh my God, are you serious, dude? Okay, at least the rock moved out of the way from me. Oh shit! If I fell, that would have sucked really bad. No. Ah, oh, okay, I fell. That sucked really bad. <laughs> Alright, th that was the worst um, spit so far. The worst, like, part of the run so far. Ah, oh, I hit him too early. Oh, it's too high. Fuck. Two psycho is kind of shitty, but oh well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Right there, I skipped the cutscene in the black. There's some cutscenes in this game where you can skip in the black. That's a theme throughout all of Kingdom Hearts. A lot of the cage games, you can skip cutscenes in the black. Like before anything shows up on screen. And I don't know all of them for every game. For a lot of the other games, like later on in the series, you can skip the cutscene as soon as the heart disappears. But in this game, you can't. You have to wait for a certain moment. So during this carpet minigame, we're gonna die on purpose. For some reason, if you die on the carpet, the game just advances anyway, even though you're supposed to survive, I think. I don't know why dying continues the story, but it's faster than playing out the minigame. Fun fact, cutscene skips were added in the FM original Japanese release that was not released in the US. And the way that it worked in that version was that every time you died, you could skip the cutscene the second time you watch it. So you couldn't skip it the first time you watch a cutscene, but if you die, you can skip it after. Every second view of a cutscene you can skip, which is kind of weird, but that's how it works. Better than having to watch it every time. Like the original Japanese release of the FM. And then KH2, you could always skip cutscenes. And Recom is the same way, I'm pretty sure. Can you skip in original com? Yes? Okay. You hold star? Oh. Yeah, what the hell? Why does it start you there? It's weird. Yes! Chamber 3 skip. 
I get that like 80% of the time. Okay, so right here, English saves time on JP because you spawn right on the boat. So you spawn right here. In JP, you spawn off the boat for some reason, like on the bottom. No idea why. It is actually really weird. Watch this jump. I failed the jump. <laughs> okay, don't watch it anymore. Never mind. Nice. So right there, you have to do precise dodge rolls and then mash triangle so that you don't spawn any more enemies and you can DDRC before the graveyard one spawn. That's good RNG right there. Oh god. I didn't hit the switch! That's not good. I haven't made that mistake in a long time. I was too busy thinking about the menus then to hit the switch. Fuck me. We have to do Oogie Manor again. I mean, it's not GG, but it's like a minute time loss probably. There we go. I'll last like a minute there. Okay, if we get hookship, I'll be okay about the Oogie Manor thing because I'll just be like, I'll pretend that I missed hookship. If I miss hookship, that's gonna be a little bit monkey ass, dude. What's funny is that Jokers and Recom save like 20 minutes, and missing hookship uses like 50 seconds. So it's like the difference between the two is crazy. And then there's like BBS, where BBS there's like drops and stuff. Yes! Okay, we got it. Yes, okay. Let's pretend that I missed hookship and that the time loss from Halloween Town was from hookship. I'm not gonna like take a break between each game. You don't say. Oh, I got Sora. What? 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 So, so yeah, um, we're using Simba. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think he's dead. Yeah. Oh, was, okay. Oh, fuck. Alright, so there's a really cool movement right here. Um, we're gonna try not to spawn anything on our way to the bell where opposite armor is. Most people think you have to be opposite armor like way earlier in the game, but you can actually hold off on opposite armor until after Neverland. So, right here, we don't spawn the enemies on the roof right there so that um, all of them spawn, all the guys at the bell tower spawn. That was a really, really good fight. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so good. That was a really good fight, actually. I'll take it. That one, you can skip the cutscene right there, which is kind of weird. Auto Bastion is one of my favorite parts of the run. It's really fun. Probably my favorite world of the run. The movement is super important. There's like a long stretch of the world that's just movement that's like really important to get down. The fights are kind of cool. Really precise combos you have to do in Riku 2 and Maleficent. We're gonna be seeing Hollow Bastion a lot. In fact, like in every game. Calm down, beast down. I want Goofy Tornado. There it is. Okay. Wait, he stopped. Are you serious? Okay, whatever. That one stopped him. I wanted Goofy to tornado and then just kill a wizard while I kill the other two, but it's fine. Oh no, I hate when that happens. If you're like right on top of the Trinity, you have to be like facing it, but if you're on top of it, then you have to like move away from it to activate it. All right, we're gonna do Dumbo Skip here. Oh, uh, we're gonna hold Circle. All right, Dumbo Skip here. If you don't do Dumbo Skip, you have to uh, go on the other side and hit the switch after killing enemies and stuff. Oh, the stop thing go off. Yeah, I fucked up. All right, that was scary for a minute. <laughs> that sucked. I missed one stop at the beginning and then I fucked up the whole fight. That was a really, really good fight. Okay. You might not be able to tell, but when he gets staggered, it's a very small window that you can stagger him after his retaliation. And I get a hidden before that window appears, so you have to like time it really well. It's hard. Oh yeah, where's Shadow by the way? Tell me what happened. Tell me what happened. Tell me what happened. Goofy just fell off and died. All right. Oh no, there he is. Okay, I thought he died. Fire! We're gonna be hearing a lot of fire in the next 24 hours, by the way. Especially in Recon. Oh yeah, fun fact, the cutscene is faster in English than it is in JP. I don't know why. At one point in the cutscene, it transitions between screens like faster than JP. I don't know, it's... It's really weird. Boo doo doo boo 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 doo boo 
Okay. Don't give up. Imagine if he just said give up. He's gonna try to push me back. I'm actually the one that discovered that skip by the way, where like you don't get pushed back because you're on you're on his back. I was pretty happy with that discovery. <laughs> it saves a lot of time because we used to get pushed all the way back. I should get sub 220 here by the way. Definitely should. As long as, if I die here or something though, then it would be a different story. You can use like four minutes on final rest, no joke. Now Simba annihilates everything. Wow. Um, <laughs> the beginning of that fight was trash, but the ending was like. Really, really good. Huh, okay. Okay, game skip. Whew. This is gonna be closer than I thought, actually. Oh shit, this is gonna be really close. Fuck, am I even gonna get it? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, now I'm worried. Oh shit, I almost died right there. If I died, that would've been pretty sad. That's really bad damage. Yeah, that's pretty bad damage. Oh my god, you see. Come on! Alright. <laughs> now we move on to Recom. Underestimate. Pog. Yeah, we have to go fast, dude. Holy shit. Okay, I got the notes ready. Okay, we want four jokers in this run. Let's see if we get it. I would prefer to have jokers in this in Sora as opposed to Riku. Yeah, because I'm doing both Sora and Riku's story. Who made the laws of this castle? Marusha. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Aqua's the one that made it. Spoiler alert. I remember flipping out when I found that out. I was like, holy shit, that's Castle Oblivion. What? Plot twist. Which one is most likely to go over estimate? I would say point two and maybe recom? Like maybe recom. I feel pretty confident that I'll get it, but just like maybe. I don't know. Recom should be under, I feel. Yeah, because of the RNG, that's the big thing. If I get no jokers, then I'll cry. And it would really suck. Alright, we're doing RNG Minip in this game, which is really cool. IMO. So we're gonna save the game here. Save the game right there. Now reset, reload. One, two, three, four, five. Hit that. Dodge roll. Hit that. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Blizzard. We want Blizzard because it's a really OP. How does it work? Your dodge rolls and what you hit does stuff. I don't know how it works though. I don't know exactly how it works. I mean, I didn't figure it out. I think it was Rebel Walk that did it. Yeah, I don't know how. I, I think it was Rebel who figured it out. So we want to grind for a Red Nocturne card. Yeah, we want a Red Nocturne card. That's really important. I'm just gonna get one. I've been getting one. You can get two if you want to. I think for proud mode, two is like ideal, but I only go for one in beginner. I got it! Bro, we're good. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Okay, <laughs> now Agrippa, we can grind everything. Usually that takes like 40 minutes. I think my PB took me like 40 minutes. It's not supposed to appear there, Monka S, dude. We need a Red Nocturne for the rest of the game because we're going to be using a lot of uh, stuff. One, two, three, four, five. One, jump on here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Blizzard. One, two. Blizzard. We did it, guys. Watch me get no jokers because I got such good luck with the red nocturne. I want at least two jokers. Like on average, you get like three, I feel. Which I my average is way worse because I just have bad luck. But I want like two at least. Two is like okay. Moogle points are really important because we're gonna need them for buying decks. Yeah, I didn't know Goofy was a strat here. <laughs> you probably don't use them that way. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a really short stream tonight. Super short stream tonight. <laughs> yeah, 26 is a really short stream. I normally go for about like 45, maybe 50. 
Okay, no jokers yet, but that's okay. It's pretty early for a joker. Pretty early to get a joker. I'm not worried. If I get one, like, that's pretty bad, but it could be worse. If I don't get any, it would be really shitty. Wait, where am I? Oh, unknown room. Okay, great. So right now in Recom, what we're doing is grinding 99 map cards. What you do in Recom is grind 99 map cards and hope that you get Joker drops. Jokers allow you to go through any requirement in the game. In the end of the game, there's a requirement that is 99 value, and the Joker will get rid of that in one go. Saves a lot of grinding. But getting Jokers is completely RNG, so it's really annoying in the speedrun. If you don't get the Joker, if you're trying to get a PB, then you pretty much just reset. But in a marathon, I'm not doing that, so we have to pray for Jokers. If I don't get a Joker, I just have to grind even more than 99 cards. So I have to like come back and grind more after. Okay, we're doing RNG Minip, which is really cool. Dodge roll. Make a room. Dodge roll. Hit these. Dodge roll. Air combo. One, two, three. Air combo. Air combo. Dodge roll. Air combo. Okay, it should be one, four, six, four, one. Yeah. Okay. And then do the swap a Rooney right there. And now we're good. Cool. It's women in spells. This is why Recon is kind of spooky as a marathon run. Watch me get no jokers for both Sora and Riku. <gasps> yes! 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 Oh my god. My dreams have come true. Holy fuck, we did it. Wait, wrong deck. I have the blizzard on, don't I? I put on the blizzard. Is that what you do? Wait, do you use fire? Is that what you're supposed to? Okay, I thought you were supposed to use blizzard. I didn't know- I thought he was a unifier, actually. This is in cage one? Okay. <laughs> he threw gonna... This is so stupid. <laughs> I didn't need that. Yeah, I didn't realize he could fire him. I just thought he was immune. I'll have no cheese. There we go. Not too bad. Ha <laughs> fuck. Here. No, brother. What? Jesus, I almost died. Imagine doing being a Disney villain and just being like, oh, by the way, don't Google my name. <laughs> I get such bad luck, dude. It's like my odds are like really bad. Yeah, we're gonna go through Wonderland and then we're gonna fight Larxena and then we're gonna grind more and then we should be good for the rest of the run, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think it's going okay so far, aside from the bad Joker luck. Shut up. So I wanna get sub three, that's my goal. I think I can get it still, but I'm not entirely sure. That guy was crawling super weird. Oh my god, yes! Wait, I'm good now, aren't I? Oh wait, no, that means that I'm actually done really soon. Yeah, I'll be done really soon then. Yep, 69. 69, let's go. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Under the sea. Under the sea. Oh, I didn't know there was a dirty door. Fuck. Wait, there's a 30 door? We don't have much left. This should be sub 3 for sure. Like, by a long shot, I think. Damn, I, okay, I'm pretty- I'm pretty happy with this run then. Fire. Fire. Wait, is she not gonna Fire. hurt me? Fire. I'm like safe up here. Okay. No! Okay. We're good. <laughs> that was a bit harder than I thought it would be. I think for the Joker luck, this isn't that bad of a run. I mean, it is actually kind of bad, but... Where's the door? Why is it down there? Vexen number two. This is the last Vexen fight we have. How do you get the enemy cards, by the way? Like, he was... He, he grinded enemy cards? Wait, am I looping him? Is this a loop? A stun lock? You can stun lock him? Riku three. Here we go. Holy shit. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Okay. We're gonna use our first Joker now. Nice. Got one more for the 99 door. Oh, I got the gimmick. Wait. I'm gonna use it. Because his head takes a lot more damage. <laughs> okay. Good luck right there. Alright, Riku 4. This fight is like hell in the GBA version. Fire. You gotta, be gotta be kidding me. Fire. Yeah. Fire. 
Okay. <laughs> Narc scene 2 is actually harder than Riku for me. That was weird. She like actually dodged it. I just need to keep the red 3 and a blue 1. Oh shit. Okay. Wait, this might be closer than I thought. <laughs> oh fuck. Wait a minute. We'll be fine. I have two fours. Okay. We'll be fine. Don't worry. Oh fuck. This is close. Oh no. Bro, I'm kind of scared. Oh shit. I'm actually kind of scared now. Wait. We're fine, right? Yeah, we're fine, dude. We're fine. Stop. We're fine. Don't panic. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Wait, oh, I have two red threes, okay. Wait, I was like, wait, don't use the red three, but I have two. Okay, don't panic. We're fine on cards, dude, we're totally fine. Blue, one. Red, three. Joker, boom. Now we're good. We're totally good. We have way more than enough. I overgrinded for sure, but that's okay. I might have fucked up. Oh no, I know what I did, don't worry. Alright, sick. Boss is left. Really good music here, by the way. Bum, ba, bum. Boo, doo, 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 doo. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, one more fight. I really like this fight actually, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's one of the better final bosses of a uh, cage game. What? We did it. Oh wait, that's not a split. <laughs> that's not a split, sorry. Okay, uh, sick. That was scary, I, I kind of fucked up at the end. Ah, <sighs> now for Riku's story. We want seven cards here in Hollow Bastion, I believe. I think we want seven. Any other encounters? <laughs> Are there any enemies here? Hello? So Riku is a lot different from Sora in the way that your deck is pre-built. You don't actually need to make your deck like you do in Sora's story, which makes it a lot more consistent, I feel. Well, I guess Sora doesn't really matter because of the RNG minute, but overall, I'd say Riku is definitely more consistent than Sora's story. Hello, darkness, my old friends. So now we're gonna grind 84 cards with no joker, 78 with one joker, 75 with two, 73 with three, and then 70 with four. Oh, I should be using the D, whatever. <laughs> oh, I'm not using Maleficent either. Oh my god, someone help me. That's not Maleficent. We're good, we're fine, don't worry about it. How do they have nines? They're just red nocturnes, dude. Wait. Joker! Yes! Okay. If only I got that during Sora's story, but whatever. Shout out to D-Wins for helping me out so much with Recon. Before I was entering dark mode on like every fight, but now I'm realizing that dark mode isn't even that good. Sometimes it is, but a lot of the time I can just do everything like this. <laughs> and that's like really fast anyway. I promise the other gr games aren't as grindy as this game, by the way. <laughs> this is just a huge grind fest. But yeah, the other games aren't as uh, grindy. Oh, nice! Another jo Wait! Yes, okay, so... We need 75 now instead. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Why do I get such good luck with Riku? I don't understand. Can someone explain why I get such good luck on Riku? Fuck, it's so dumb. Like, Sora, I would rather it on Sora. So dumb, dude. His run is so much worse without Joker. Whatever, this game sucks. Oh right, I should've been this low. Okay, I was gonna say, if I don't have a zero red, I gotta, I'm gonna fight somebody. Like, actually fight someone. The weirder looking dodge roll? I would say Riku for sure, yeah. Holy crap. I'm actually getting destroyed now. Holy shit. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, it gives me back my cards. Okay. I did mean to do it, actually. First, we got Vexen. There we go. Nice fight. So, fun fact, you can stunlock bosses as Riku by doing two hits. And that's what we do for every fight. We just stunlock. Because, I don't know, they had an oversight on the gameplay. There we go. Stop. Oh my god. What? There we go. Oh, that was a bad fight. It's okay. Yeah, during a card duel, it can kind of be good for some fights. Like if you're really in a bad spot. But for the most part, you want to avoid it. It's kind of slow. Oh, we Dark Aura here. Okay, that's cool. Watch this. Hell yeah. Oh man! Good fight there. This is a 20 door, I'm pretty sure. Yep, blue 20. Pretty easy door. Kind of want to use the 8. Maybe the 7. I don't have a 7. Oh <laughs> the 7 that I don't have. Bro, that, that took too much thought. Oh I should have done that faster. Ah, uh, I don't know. Was that... Am I dumb? How many cards did I use? Uh, maybe I'm stupid. Oh right, you're supposed to, um... I remember. I did this wrong. Wait. Oh shit, okay, I beat him anyway. That's good. 
this the last time we're seeing Atlantica? I think this is the last time we're gonna see Atlantica, actually. That's funny. If I did NG+, I'd probably speed everything up a lot. Like, KH3 and Voltimo weapon spam. Oh, and DDD? With whatever you do in DDD? <laughs> I think you have Super Glide in NG+, which is cool. I hate this fight on, like, both Sora and Riku. Oh, I lost Dark Mode. Holy shit. That's strong as hell. Oh, God. Now she drowns and dies. The fight's really hard and proud. I remember dying to her a lot. Say so goodbye to Atlantica because we're not seeing it again. Alright, Trickmaster, you don't have any cards for it. What you want to do is do an air combo. Okay. You don't have many cards, so you have to be really careful of using Slade. Because I can run out of cards like really fast. I say as I use a lot of Slade. We're good though. We only got four more worlds. Yeah, I was sub five still. I, I mean, I hope, as long as nothing really bad happens. I have a couple zeros. Oh, oh shit. I only have two zeros. Good. Yes, we got it. Hell yeah. This fight can suck if you don't get this right away. Like, it can be really bad. Attack Racer guarantees that he won't break out of it. Because uh, he can't break my cards when I use them. Should be able to do this. Nice. Oh, there's a gimmick. Oh shit, I fucked up. I, was, I stood a bit too far. What is that card? I don't know. I'll go ahead and give this again. Oh wait, that's not it. Okay, there's gonna be a slow fight. Alright, whatever. Slow fight right there. Alright, it's actually in time. Oh fuck. Alright, we got him. We got him, that's fine. Alright, Riku 2 is not too hard. Oh, and then that's the final boss after. Okay. Yeah, even Riku is next. This one's hard too on Proud. <laughs> I just keep thinking about the Proud run that I was doing for the Beat the Disc one before. You gotta be kidding me. Nice. Yeah, there's only one more fight. Um, I believe for Ansem, we're just gonna... Dark. Okay. Come open your heart. Did it. Cool. Be estimated by a lot. Hell yeah.